Hello and welcome to another out of spec overlanding adventure. Behind me, finally, the new Ford Bronco. This one's a 2021 first edition, which means it has everything. Extra skid plates, 35s. It's on Goodyear mud terrain tires. And so we have no mud, but we have, I don't know, a good five, six inches of snow. Take a look on the trail, not a hint of ground. It's just snow. So this is gonna require some momentum, some speed, so I'm playing around with the goat modes. We're here at, what is it called, Jordan? Buncey Trail? Trail yeah. Bunce Trail. We've done this a few times. I still don't know the name. Ironclads, yeah, that's what I would call it. And uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do the full trail. I mean, it's a pretty gnarly trail, especially with this much snow. But we're on an adventure. You guys know the GX. We had that vehicle out here recently behind this one. And uh, that was a couple videos ago on this channel. But now we're taking the new Bronco for an adventure, just happens to be a snowy one. Under the hood, we have the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6, 330 horsepower, 415 pound-feet of torque, uh, 10 speed automatic transmission. Too many speeds in my opinion. First gear is like really short and then like you gotta go second, third. So I think we'll just run second, third gear for the most part today and just revs up. This motor makes a ton of low down torque though. It's just what I've found, at least just coming up the trail here was so you put your foot down and then it's just like has to build boost. We're at very high elevation here. So not as responsive as it would be down at sea level would be my guess. So in terms of the rest of the vehicle, it's a first edition, like I mentioned, so it's got everything. We have the uh, 35s. We aired down a little bit, but they're in the 20s. It's not like we're so low. We can still go lower if we want to. We got the rock sliders here. Inside, we have a whole bunch of cool things, which if you hand me the phone, I can take a look. <laughs> Thank you very much. Inside here, take a look at this. We have the huge display, which is great. We have four low, four high, our trail crawl assist. We have front and rear lockers, sway bar disconnect. Jordan, I think this is the most off-roady vehicle we've ever had out on the trails, don't you think? I love it. The, Jordan loves it. Come around back. Timon's airing down the GX. Drew is here. It's the same crew as last time we shot out here, which you guys seem to like that video. I loved it too. We have some amount of trunk space, who cares? But um, yeah, so what recovery gear did we bring for this snowy adventure? Because this is arguably gonna be a little bit sketchier than last time. And we brought, uh, what are they called? Max tracks. That's all we brought. That's all we brought. One, <laughs> one toe strap. One strap. Yeah, which isn't really an official toe strap. We still gotta get it, bring all of our gear, but. Uh, dog. Yeah, and we have Ruby. So Ruby's here to pull us out like the sled dog that he is. So let's get in the Bronco and go take a look at how this thing does out on one of our favorite trails here in the snow. Well, we're just heading out on the trail. You can see the GX in front of us and uh, we have the sway bars disconnected because we can and it should hopefully smooth out the ride. Just normal four high, nothing fancy. This is just cruising on some light snow. We'll try some of these goat modes in a little bit. In fact, we'll probably have a whole video on the goat modes here coming uh, in a future episode. But so far, a couple things that I'm, you know, that are standing out to me, the sight lines, the visibility is wonderful. I can pull up the cameras as well in certain off-road modes at speed, but at low speed, you can see, I can see everything here, which is just wonderful. So I absolutely love the camera system on this. Um, I'm just in normal mode. GX is getting a little spicy over there. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is just gonna be our biggest thing is making sure we have room to slide. We don't wanna crash into any trees or damage anything. So let's just uh, continue up this way. Other than that, this thing has this cool feature called trail turn assist. When I put this on, it locks the inside wheel to help bring the front around where we need to go. Oh, Timon's really having some difficulty on this. Let's see if we do. I think we can just walk right up it. Yeah, like nothing. <laughs> That's that Goodyear tire technology. Love those guys at Goodyear. Well, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into up this way. Very competent and quiet on the snow. Yeah, I could hear you guys like talking even after you left a while back. <laughs> Very eerily quiet up here. It's hit some deeper snow. Don't even, you can't even tell. <laughs> this thing thinks it's in a mall parking lot. Yeah, it has no clue what we're doing. Let's try, uh, let's try some modes here. So we have eco, slippery, mud ruts, sand, Baja, and rock crawl. So we've put it into uh, Baja mode, which leaves the camera up, which nice. is kind of cool. And we got sway bars disconnected. We'll just lock the rear diff. 
and yeah, let's just go for it. So I have us, we're still in four high, but we're gonna use this uh, cruise control system for off-road. So I have it set at one mile an hour. So I'm gonna click set at one and time and just slid down this hill. So the Bronco is doing everything here. One might be too slow. Let's go two miles an hour. Let's see how it handles this slippery slope that he just <laughs> locked up the brakes the whole way down. See how the Bronco does. So I'm not touching any of the pedals and it's just, smoothly walking its way down on this cruise control system. Let's just go three. Two feels too slow. There's three. Now it's doing the brakes and it's figuring out where to grab. Let's go to one, see if it can stop itself. So it's trying as hard as it can to stop us. But it's doing a really good job of controlling wheel lock to build up a little bit of a, I guess, material in front of the tire. That was pretty cool. Let's do it again. So now we're, we have it set at four. I'm gonna go to one. So watch the tires. Oh, it's just breaking. Anyway, technology. I kind of feel like these types of solutions are answers to questions no one's ever asked. I don't think anyone's ever said, hey, I'm on the trail. It's really hard to hit the gas and brake. Uh, I need someone to do it for me. I just don't get that. I would prefer instant control with the pedals. So we'll keep that off, but kind of a cool little thing to watch it work and made it down the hill way better than the Lexus did. Guys, we've reached a little turnaround point here at the end of the trail. I want to demonstrate a cool feature called Trail Turn Assist. We'll have a full video coming on how the intricacies of this system works and when you should or shouldn't use it. Uh, the one thing to be very mindful with this type of system, I'll explain it here in a second, is just only use it sparingly or on hard icy surfaces because on dirt and mud, it could really leave some ruts and dig into the trail and you just don't want to you want to leave the trail as you found it is my motto. So I have trail turn assist on, watch the turning radius. It's going to lock the inside rear tire and I'm pretty much just going to do donuts around. I mean, it's got a little bit of a, around this stump. Isn't that freaking incredible how I can just U-turn this thing around? <laughs> you can see Timon's struggling to get out of this hill. We're at the bottom. We have a huge hill climb to get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna put this thing in reverse if he's gonna keep sliding down. Oh my goodness. Okay, so backing up here. You need to run at that. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be sketchy. Thankfully, there's like a pavement road down here, but I think let's get out of his way. So we're trail turn assisting it here. Watch this. Boom. Just big turn. Love that. So looks like time and uh, we're gonna be stuck here. <laughs> he can't even make it out of the park, this little turnaround spot. Oh, we found the snow. And... Wow, there we go. Nice, well, let's, um, let's do the slippery profile on here, shall we? So I've selected slippery. We're gonna go four by four high and uh, lock it in manual first gear. Watch and learn, folks. Oh wait, traction control off. Like nothing. Bronco. <laughs> Front diff only lets you go in four low, but we're just gonna lock it in uh, first gear, second gear, I guess. Second gear, speed on. We're spinning all four. So this is like cruising. <laughs> Bronco. So the sway bar is reconnected.
nothing. Oh. Man, this thing could do this all day. It's a snowmobile. Look, this is pretty deep through here too. Trail turn assist. Here we go. Perfect opportunity. Uphill though, will it hold us back? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we need that wheel. Oh. Trail turn assist slash park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's back up for a second here. Get out of the rut. We don't need to create any more than we need. And into first gear. Power. Come on, Bronco. Right, there we go. Trail turn assist also works as wheel spin. There we go. What a freaking run. That was awesome. All right, Jordan, hop in there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Want to just slide down. <laughs> Starts right up. Look at that eco, that beast. eco beast. Now put it in reverse and not drive. And just, you're on the parking brake too, just so you know. Yeah, time and don't stand there in case he slips down. Yeah, don't use the brakes, just roll, coast on down. <laughs> and guys, you join us after a little bit of fun here in the Bronco. We've done a little bit of crawling, nothing fancy. It's just so icy underneath the snow. There's almost nothing you can do without studded tires. But Baja mode was amazing. We were jumping it over some whoops. And well, we can always end it with a little teeter-totter. One of the most fun things you can do with a car, of course, is just totter it on its rotation point. You can see huge articulation in the rear. Come take a look at the other side, by the way, because it is tucking this rear tire, but the fronts also drop quite a bit. The suspension design on this is wild. And the new Raptor Bronco is debuting just a couple days from this point. By the time you're probably watching this, it's already out. Can't wait to see what they've done with it, but this thing just looks at home out here. Can't wait to have this back for some dry weather adventures where we can really head up the trail. We actually cannot even continue because there's a whole group stuck on ice and we just can't get past them. So this is the end of our adventure. Bronco freaking shreds.